date, office, or whatever that is. What's going on everyone? My name is Farid Monyas and we're back again. So if you love fragrances, if you love to smell great and if you love to get compliments, therefore you are at the right place. In today's video, I'm going to provide you with 10 fragrances that are below 200 ringgit. So if you want to save a lot of your money, therefore stay tuned and stay strong. Let's jump start at the number 10 spot. This one is CK1 Shock by Kevin Klein. If you want to dive into tobacco scent, I would suggest you to go for this one first before you dive into other tobacco fragrances such as Initial Rehab or Parfums de Marley or even Red Tobacco which is very pungent and very harsh because to me this one is a very nice take on tobacco scent. The tobacco is there but it is not that harsh. Honestly, I'm not really a big fan of this fragrance because there's something in this fragrance which I don't really love. The, the, the dry down of this fragrance is okay, but the longer it stays on my skin, the more I hate it. <laughs> so, however, it must be noted that this fragrance lasts me a quite long time. For a cheapie like this, you I get around seven to eight hours. Superbly fantastic. This one is CK1 Shock by Kevin Klein. Number 9 spot, this one is Mont Blanc Individuel. So if you want to have a very nice, fresh, soapy, raspberry fragrance, I would definitely suggest you Mont Blanc Individuel. At the same time, this one is, uh, this one is a take on original Santal by Creed. So if you want to smell luxurious, you want to smell like thousands of bucks, therefore I would suggest you this one. This one is 100 plus ringgit superbly amazing you want to smell like raspberry fresh raspberry fruity likable lovable and the most and the most important thing is this one is a great compliment getter you want to get compliment by the ladies i would suggest you this one number eight spot this one is dolce and gabbana the one gray so what we have here is the similar DNA of the one or the parfum and Eau de toilet by Dolce Gabbana. However, you add with more freshness, then you will get this fragrance. I believe this one is very suitable for you to wear during the daytime because this fragrance is quite um, quite fresh. At the same time, it is a very nice, safe scent. It is very inoffensive, so you won't uh, annoy other people. It won't be cloying. People will love your scent. This one is very nice, very great. The same DNA with added freshness. So Dolce Gabbana, the one, great. Number seven spot, this one is Nuit d'Isse by Ise Miyake. So this one is a great fragrance. This one is a very nice versatile fragrance, I believe. The opening is quite uplifting because you have the freshness from the grapefruit, you have the pink pepper, you have the leather, you have the tonka bean, at the same time you have the patchouli. So in my opinion, this one is very nice, honestly. It is quite versatile. This one is parfum concentration and you can get below 200 ringgit. Crazy. This one is very nice. You can wear it to the gym, you can wear it to the class, to the office, anywhere, even to the date. It can be a great one, especially if you're going for a daytime date. Therefore, I would suggest that this one can be a great fragrance as well. It is inoffensive also. It is very long lasting and jumps off your skin moderately. The projection is just nice. It's not crazy, just nice. Therefore, Nui Dise by Ise Miyake. Number six spot, this one is Mont Blanc. Explorer. So if you want to smell like Crete Aventus, this one is a great clone of Crete Aventus in my opinion. It is 90% almost similar to one another. So this one is a great take on that fragrance. It is a clone. The performance is might be a little bit weak there. The scent itself is super sexy, super masculine. People gonna love your scent. You will be the talk of the town. People will love you. The lady, it is ladies approved fragrance and it's very versatile. If you want to smell luxurious, you want to smell opulent, you want to smell like 1000 plus ringgit fragrance, I would suggest you this one, a clone of Crete Aventus Mont Blanc Explorer. The next fragrance is Coach for Men Eau de Toilette. All right, this fragrance is a very nice, likable fragrance. It's a little bit powdery, it's a little bit athletic, it is sporty, it is very versatile, it's very likable, it's very lovable by the ladies. The ladies approve this fragrance, people 
love this fragrance, no one hates this fragrance, especially if you are a teenager, you are 25 and below, this one is super, super nice fragrance for you. You can wear it to the class, you can wear it anywhere you want, even you can wear it to the gym. It's fresh, spicy fragrance. It does not jump off your skin super loudly. It's just moderate projection with a slightly above average performance, super nice. You will get compliments with this fragrance. In my opinion, this one is one of the best by Coach. Also, this one is in the same family of Dior Sauvage. So if you love Dior Sauvage, you might want to consider this one. Coach for men, Ode Toilet. And the number four spot, this one is John Varvatos Artisan. All right, this fragrance is very unique. You have the ginger note, and this fragrance it is a soapy scent kind of fragrance. So you have the soapiness, at the same time you have the uniqueness twist by the ginger note. Very nice, it's very masculine in my opinion. The smell is super intoxicating. You want to smell like a real, real man. You want to smell like super dominant man. Fresh and clean fragrance with a touch of uniqueness, superbly crafted by John Bravato's company. So if you want to have a unique twist on soapy fragrance, I would suggest you this one, John Bravato's Artisan. At the number three spot, this one is Salvatore Ferragamo Woma Signature. If you want to smell delicious, you want to be edible, <laughs> you want to smell like tiramisu, chocolate, or very sweet fragrance, this one is a great, cheap, Gourmand fragrance. What is gourmand fragrance? So gourmand fragrance is some kind of very delicious, very sweet, very um, very edible. Like it smells like chocolate, or even it smells like caramel or tiramisu. Like this fragrance. This one is a great take on tiramisu. You add more sugar. You add density in this fragrance. It's super dense. It is super dark super thick it is super loud on your skin you will get compliments with this one and the performance is incredible the scent is amazing this one is salvatore ferragamo Womo signature and the number two spot this one is of course i will never leave you haha <laughs> versace dylan blue all right this one is a great fragrance for versatility so this one is the swiss army knife fragrance you take it anywhere with you Anytime, anywhere, any occasion, date, office, or whatever that is. You don't have to worry about compliments, you don't worry about the performance, and all, um, and most importantly, the price is super good. Versace Dylan Blue is a great versatile fragrance. You will never go wrong with this fragrance. It does not need to be introduced that much because everyone knows that this fragrance is one of the best blue fragrances in the market. Therefore, I would suggest you this one, Versace. Dylan Blue. All right, guys, and the number one spot, this one is MN by Thierry Mugler. This fragrance is a gourmand fragrance as well. This one is a great take on caramel, on chocolate. Is it chocolate? Not chocolate. Tonka bean with the fruitiness and also the citruses. So the opening in this fragrance is super, super intoxicating. The central that, that this fragrance provides is super, super delicious. Sweet, at the same time, the opening is super uplifting with the bergamot, with the citruses punch on this fragrance. So you have the take on caramel and it stays longer on your skin. Very nice, very sweet. In my opinion, this one is one of the best by Thierry Mugler. You want to have a very nice, delicious, sweet fragrance i would suggest you thierry mugler amen that's it guys thank you so much for watching i'm very happy to provide you with this list fragrances that you can spend below 200 ringgit uh, i believe this one might be very useful to you if you want to save your budget if you are in the tight budget however you still want to smell great and don't forget to hit the like button leave some comments let me know any other cheapy fragrances out there that I should try. And most importantly, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell right over there to get notified with my next post in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I see you guys very soon. Peace.